Hey, Walter Sorrells back with more tips for the knife maker. Today, the ultimate fire starter knife. When you're in the woods, sometimes you need to start a fire and you don't have a lighter or matches, but you do have a knife. Today, the ultimate fire starter knife or a showpiece to stick in your safe. You be the judge. I will say though, totally practical knife in the sense that it'll do everything it seems like it ought to do. Cut, chop, start fires. Basically, it's just a sort of mini camp knife, but with a fire starter built into it. Stick around and you'll see how that works. A lot of my videos are heavy duty how-to stuff, but today I'm gonna back off on the how-to details and mostly just let you enjoy the ride. I'll be making this knife from 8670 steel. It's a low alloy chromium nickel steel. Very tough, pretty easy to work with. Grinding. I'm milling little ridges on the spine. These look sort of like files or jimping, but that's not the purpose. It's just a scraper for a magnesium fire starter that'll be stored inside the handle. You'll see how that works pretty soon. By the way, if you'd like to own the actual knife made in this video, check the specials tab at my website, tacticsarmory.com. I'm only making one of these, so when it's gone, it's gone. As with most of my builds, I wouldn't really call this a high-end, you know, art knife. It's just kind of a fun project for YouTube, so you can pick it up for a lot less than the thousands of bucks I'd charge you for one of my Japanese blades or even, you know, one of my high-end kind of art knives. Plus, I'll actually use it to start a fire, so yeah, might be a little scratched up from that. More grinding. And more grinding. And more grinding. Quick note here, you asked and I answered. I've had tons of knife makers ask me about how they could get started as a knife maker, so I've come up with a free PDF that gives my top five hints for how to get started in knife making. A lot of people just don't know how to take that first step. Hey, I've been there, but I'll get you the hookup. Just click the link in the description for my free PDF and it'll give you all the information you need. Jumpstart your knife making hobby or career with these super useful hints. Like I said, totally free. All right, let's get back to work.
The handles are the fun part of this knife. The scales are made from alumalite casting resin. I'm using a multi-layer technique. The first layer to give it color. The second to anchor the matches. And the third to cover up the matches. That's because they float and won't sink down into their own layer. Each layer has to cure in a pressure pot to minimize bubbles. Now on to heat treating, the process that turns it into a knife. Fifteen hundred Fahrenheit. Soak for ten minutes. Quench in Parks Fifty quenching oil. By the way, as is almost always the case with my projects, plans for this build will be available to all my supporters on Patreon. Help support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com slash waltersorrels. Link in the cards and description. After tempering at 400 Fahrenheit, time to get the knife looking a little prettier. Some of this is handwork, some machine. Once that's squared away, back to the handle. There's going to be a magnesium fire starter in the handle, so we'll drill out that storage cavity. Sometimes you have to drill really slowly and carefully in plastic materials to keep from melting them. Now I'll epoxy them to the handle. This is one of only a handful of knives I've ever made that didn't have pins. Not what I'd recommend for a true bushcraft knife, but hey. I'm using a filing guide to keep everything in registry so that the handles are symmetrical from side to side. Finish grinding.
and more grinding. In goes the magnesium fire starter, a little Delrin plug to keep the fire starter from falling out. Now the handles are ground and polished up. Key question. So if you got lost in the forest with this baby, could you actually use it to start a fire? Yeah. And if you're really desperate, crack open the handle with a rock and use the matches. Or not. All right, thanks guys, and see you soon. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years, so I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. WalterSorrelsBlades.com